was no moon that night. There was only the stars, beautiful, countless, a radiant reminder of the chorus of creation. There was also my campfire, of course, my own small note to contribute to the harmony of light. A strange wanderlust had led me to this place, far from the world I knew. An urgent anticipation I could not source drove me into the wilderness. That night, surrounded by both light and shadow, I found my first true rest in days. Though I had my tent, I laid beneath the envelope of the sky and let the dreams take me. In that place beyond sleep, I watched worlds drift by in flashes of consciousness. Some were similar to mine, others were not, but each was unique and special. How wonderful it would be, I thought, to walk in each of them, if only for a short time. I was suddenly aware, with no memory of my drifting off or waking, only the recollection of the dream hinted that I had slept at all. It may have been minutes or hours, perhaps in this place even days, but something had changed. It was brighter than it had been before, but not from sun or moon or stars. There was a glow coming from behind me. Curious, I turned and saw a door. No building, no wall, just a door glowing faintly in the middle of this magical place. I walked toward it and the door slowly opened. I could see nothing inside. And it was then I knew some power had answered my dream, and this was its invitation. This was to be my quest. But I do not wish to go alone. And as the power invited me, now do I invite you. Come with me, and we will walk the worlds together.